Hi, welcome to valuationpodcast.com, a podcast and video series about all things related to business and valuation. My name is Melissa Gregg, and I'm a valuation expert witness and divorce mediator in St. Louis, Missouri. I have the privilege to interview Randy Kessler today, who is a high profile divorce attorney in Atlanta, Georgia for over 30 years. He's a founding partner of KS Family Law, a 30 person family law firm in Atlanta. He represents entertainers and athletes. He's wrote Divorce, Protect Yourself, Your Kids, and Your Future. He is the former chair of the family law section of the American Bar Association. He is a professor at Emory Law School, and he is the founder of Starsona, which provides personal videos from stars to their fans. Uh, Randy, we are so lucky to have you here, and we're going to be talking about virtual court, divorce mediation, and valuation during COVID-19 pandemic. We talked about this several months ago, that you were building an on or a, an in-person kind of mock courtroom. And so I kind of want to show people what, you know, this is, this is one way to start to get ready for what may be the future of litigation, of, of divorce, or any type of trials is going to be that if we can't all go into the courtroom, we can at least, you know, if, if you and I were on a case and we were coming in with your clients, we're, we're now in what we know as court and we act a, accordingly. And so this, tell us a little bit about what you guys built. So we represent some high, high wealth folks and high wealth folks would typically, just like anybody, would typically not prefer to be in a crowded courthouse where everybody's hearing their business and looking at them. And so we started building this before the pandemic and we finished it during the pandemic to have private judging. Now it sounds fancy, private judging, but really it's just arbitration. And most states now allow some form of arbitration. Some states like Georgia allow you to arbitrate custody and financial issues. And so you don't really need a fancy courtroom like this to do it. You can do it in a mediation room or in a conference room. But you know, if, if people are gonna pay us to present the case, I want it to feel like court. I also wanna be able to practice with my clients so that if they have to go to a courthouse, they sort of felt what it was like to be cross-examined in a real courtroom. But um, I think now with COVID, you're gonna see a lot more firms. And of course the big firms, the, the thousand person, the 400 person firms have their in-house courtrooms. The small firms, we're a 15 lawyer firm which is pretty big for family law, but you know, most family lawyers are two, three, four people. They're probably not gonna build a courtroom, but I bet you're gonna see more and more of them doing it or sharing a courtroom because it's the way of the future. You know, mm -hmm. courthouses are already overwhelmed before COVID. Now they're doubly overwhelmed because of the backlog. People are not trying cases yet. Do you wanna go stand in line through security and wait on crowded elevators and have a judge who's got a thousand cases to get through? Or do you wanna pay a private judge who can talk to you privately and you can say, judge, I need to take a break. Can we come back tomorrow? And the judge says, I'm getting paid four or $500 an hour. I'm your employee today. Um, you guys tell me what you want me to do. And so there are a lot of benefits to this private judging thing.